Terrence and Perron pled guilty in state court. Almost immediately, the feds indicted them on the same murder charge again. Justice tripped a little bit in its first journey to bring closure to this incident. They also charged them with a conspiracy drug charge with no evidence at all. There is no fingerprints on the gun. There is no DNA. There is no blood. There are no drugs. There are no proceeds from drugs. There is nothing to this case. And every person who testified against Terrence and Farron did it in exchange to get rid of a case. Every person. And that jury came back and found them not guilty of the murder of Officer Gibson but they did find them guilty of the drug conspiracy charges. And at that point is where the judge stepped in. The judge used the state court guilty pleas of Terrence and Ferran to enhance both men's sentence to life, even though they were just found not guilty of the same crime. You know, jurors, they were shocked. Somebody didn't like the verdict. As I recall, nobody ever really thought that they were guilty of murder. Everyone knows that they had absolutely nothing to do with the death of Officer Gibson. Terrence and Ferran, two innocent men, sentenced to life in prison for a crime in which they were found not guilty of. All my officers were white. Even though the town may have been 65% black. And only black people were being targeted. I, I thought I could do something about that. <laughs> it's a wild endeavor, but I, I, I couldn't. 